Hello folks, this is Jay Austin coming at you from the workshop. I know it's been a while since I've posted any videos from a workshop. As some of you may know, uh, we recently bought some uh, real estate property and we've been spending most of our time out there getting that ready to get it rented and hoping to join the ranks of the uh, real estate investors uh, real soon. My wife is out there painting today. I'm staying home with the tribe. Uh, getting my, my workshop organized, been neglecting things because of this new property we bought, trying to hurry up and get it on the market. Uh, was working outside, I got interrupted, hopefully just temporarily by the rain and some lightning. So I uh, thought I'd come in here and do a real quick uh, review on Harbor Freight's Central Pneumatic Mini Air Palm Nailer. If uh, none of you or any of you are not familiar with this, as I really wasn't. Um, it's exactly what it says. You see how it fits in my palm. My right, I'm right-handed, so I'll show you my right-handed. There you go. It's a little small thing. And he only fires one nail at a time. This is a pneumatic tool. I've got him hooked up to my uh, trusty California Tools super, super quiet air compressor. Uh, he's only goes up to 90 pound, uh, 90 PSI. And this is what this tool is, uh, ready for. There's the rest of the specs if you'd like to see those. I got this guy on sale um, in a parking lot sale, one of their annual parking lot sales or semi-annual and uh, like eight ten bucks and I've never used one really never been familiar with them at all so uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. Got a piece of two by four here, scrap two by four clamped in the vise and uh, you might be able to see over here I was uh, already practicing with him to just to make sure he worked. Hooked him up to there, got him up to speed, and uh, did a couple of practice runs with him. That's about as far as he let this guy go. He's about, a, I think, 18 penny. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he just stopped right there. I don't know if he hit a, a knot or what, but he won't go any farther. The rest he did fine with. So uh, I turned to the bucket of rusty nails because I don't like to use my good nails, my brand new nails for experiments so I always keep a, a bucket of rusty nails around and uh, you see that and uh, I go to him from time to time when I want to do some experimenting or we just want to have a have run out a certain size of nail I don't mind taking the time to straighten them out it's not hard a few minutes where is it come on come on there we go okay there you go got it so anyway but I'm gonna start with the, start with the small ones first this is uh, again the central um, Harbor Freight's Central Pneumatic Mini Palm Nailer. It's an air tool and it's rated at 90 PSI. So, pretty small, pretty simple. You got a magnet inside here, of course, your couplings. The magnet goes in here, or the magnet's in there, and you simply stick a nail there, and he's not going anywhere, as you can see. So, then you bring him over to your board, wherever you're ready to nail. Let me focus in for you guys. Hopefully you can see this better. Let's see what it got. Whoops, I just bent it. Ah, look at that. That was my fault, I was trying to do it left-handed. I'm right-handed. Let's try to do it the right way without blocking the camera. All right, he's, he's again, magnetized. He's ready to go on the board. You can try to keep it as straight as I can. One hit, and he's in there. Now, of course, he's not fastened, but give me a shot. Up oh, in him too. That's my fault. But I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had much better success earlier. So let's try a biggie here. Let's try a biggie. See what happens. Maybe he just had a bad moment. Oh, he's going in much better now. Wow, much better than this one did. This is his limit. The limit on this one, I believe, is three and a half inches. I believe that's the limit. Uh, and again, sure is sufficient and set on the right. Maybe a little higher. No, that's ready. That's on the money. Let's see what he'll do. Well, you get that one. Let's see if we get a successful one all the way through. Try a smaller one here. 
Sorry for the camera work, guys. Never was good at it, and I'm only getting worse by by not doing it regularly. So anyhow, back in business. So where were we at? Right there. See what he does. I'd like to get him out of the way for you. Let's see if we can get away without bending this one. Yeah, that's better. There you go. He's well. That was my fault. I got him in the angle, but he's still going. Now I beat him. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. See if I can straighten him up a little bit. Nope. Um, it worked much better in practice. Yeah, you know, theory and practice. That's the way it works. Uh, not now. But take my word for it. It was pretty good on the smaller nails. Much smaller nails, guys. Honestly, when I use this guy in the job, um, I'm way too impatient. Uh, I'm way too impatient. I would just much rather go to this guy. But for a fun little tool, I think it's kind of cool. And if I happen to have the air tool out, the air compressor up and charged and pressurized and running, and I find I got to hammer a few nails in, I may pull him out just for fun. But as a pro tool, no way. And even for me as an amateur tool, ugh, man, no way. Uh, get you a like an 18 gauge pneumatic gun. Uh, I think Central Pneumatic makes those, and I know I have one, so maybe I'll do a video on him. Hopefully he'll come out better than this one. But anyhow, just thought I'd show you this guy. See, I still think he's kind of cool. Good idea, but one nail at a time and not a whole lot of power. Maybe it's operator error. I'll look at it and see. But uh, until then, guys, Jay Allison from Woodworking Blues. Keep on woodworking.